Hi guys, so I decided to go ahead and film part two of my tons of tiny TNs video because there's going to be a part three and I thought I would split these videos up so they're not as long. Um, I'm going to show you five today and um, one of them's actually not a tiny but I thought it was worth mentioning anyway. So forgive my messy desk and my ratchet nails and I will show you guys what I have I do have eight more on the way. Yes, I know. Um, I have a slight problem, but I wanted to share all of these with you guys anyway because I super love them. And the first one I want to share with you guys is this is a brand new company to me. And the company is called Peppermint Doxy. And this is the, um, this was like a ready to ship one. I just purchased this because. I wanted to try it so this is in the passport size and the husky and I super love it because again right now my planner is really full and I still actually have room so there's actually no overhang and there's still some room there and I'm actually not carrying this guy around with me at the moment so I thought I would um, try my hand at making some bookmarks and so I just got some beads and I made some bookmarks and I made this little charm and this is um, I believe like the pearlized teal I don't know if you guys can see that but the leather has like a pearlized finish to it and I love it I think it's really unique um, I haven't seen anything like this before and I think that it just looks really pretty I just I don't know I really liked it so I contacted um, Suzanne, the owner of Peppermint Doxy on Etsy, and I will link her shop down below. And I also purchased a rusty pumpkin and an elephant ear gray. And so um, I will show you guys that in part three when they arrive. But I super love this. The leather's really soft and nice. And you can see here like how thick it is. The inside, um, the dye is it looks beautiful as well on the inside and the leather still feels really good even though you know it has like this like the dye and the paint on it it's still really soft and pliable it did not make it stiff or really warp the leather a lot so I really like this a lot and I also purchased this guy from Buteo Bunker and you guys know I love Buteo Bunker and you know I love the chestnut leather and this one was actually in a custom size. What I wanted to do was I wanted it wide enough this way to fit all of my inserts without having overhang, but I didn't like it being so big at the top. And so when you order ample overhang all the way around, it's cut larger all the way around. And so I wanted like slight to minimal overhang on the top and bottom and then ample on the sides. And so this is an actual complete custom size, but I really like it. Um, it's perfect. This chestnut leather is so, so beautiful, you guys. If you have not tried um, Buteo Bunker, again, I highly recommend it. It's very affordable, and their work is beautiful. And I also wanted to show you, too, this is an A6 creme brulee from Chic Sparrow. And I cannot believe, actually, how similar these leathers are. Matter of fact, I really, in my honest opinion, I really do think that these leathers are the same. And they have the same feel, the same texture, almost exactly the same color. And so, if for whatever reason you can't get a hold of the, um, the creme brulee leather from Chic Sparrow, the Chestnut Buteo Bunker is definitely similar. I mean, they feel the same, everything. I really do think that these are the same leather. But again, I bought this A6 guy for my art journal, and I'm using my 2017 A6 Hobonichi, the Techo, in here already. Again, I decided I was going to use this um, as an art journal now rather than like as a daily planner or use it for... Um, specific dates for next year. So I just either paint over the dates or add washi or um, layer something over it so I can use it now. And so that's what I've decided to do there. And at first I didn't love how much extra leather was on the side. I know, right? Like all my other ones, like I have to have it. But then I realized how chunky 
this book will get just from all of the elements and all the ephemera and everything that I do in here it's gonna get pretty chunky so now I'm actually grateful that this is here to accommodate that once it gets a lot more full and I also purchased an A5 size from Buteo Bunker in the chestnut leather and this was actually a bottom of the barrel piece um, it was discounted a little bit um, on the site like underneath that they have different categories and um, there's nothing wrong with it like at all I mean it's um, it still feels beautiful I don't see anything like aesthetically wrong with it or anything so and most people I've seen on YouTube they have commented that they have purchased items from the Buteo Bunker bottom of the barrel category and they didn't find anything wrong with it either so I definitely think that if you're interested in trying them and you want a slight discount that bottom of the barrel is definitely a viable choice um, but I really like this and I've got my Hobonichi cousin in here for next year I haven't started using this yet I will be using this as my um, personal journal in 2017 but I wanted to have a traveler's notebook cover ready for this guy so that is all ready to go and last but not least this is a rustic kodiak in brown from speckled fawns and oh my goodness this was my actual first speckled fawn purchase as well and since then i have purchased some more i think i have um a snickerdoodle the teal horween and also a black kodiak on the way as well because I just loved 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 this one so much this is actually oil tanned leather and I loved the rustic look and feel of this and I got brown stitching and brown elastics and I really like the quality of her elastics they're not too stretchy but they're not too firm and I really like that and I've also found too that most elastics for whatever reason I don't know like the black and brown elastics seem to be a lot more firm than the colored elastics I don't know why like I've purchased other notebooks with like pink or lilac elastics and um, just from all companies across the board in general and these tend to be a little bit more stretchy I'm not sure why but the brown elastics in here are really nice and firm and I can fit a lot of stuff in here I actually requested a two inch spine but I don't know since it was my first purchase um, I don't know how that actually works because looking at it from this way it looks like it's only about one inch but I can it I can definitely fit all of this stuff in here with very minimal to little overhang so I don't know if maybe like the one inch accommodates two inches worth of stuff I'm not sure but I can definitely put a lot of stuff in here and the leather oh my gosh you guys this is just so delicious and it smells incredible the pockets are really nice and pliable and what I really like about her pockets is that they are not really hard to get in and out of like you've seen other travelers notebooks where the pockets are kind of stiff and the leather is really thin this leather is still decently thick and they're still really really soft and pliable so it's really easy to get in and out of this guy and it just it's so just bendy and supple and pliable and it's it's just beautiful and I love this so much I'm super happy I'm getting a black one as well because the black is always sold out whenever I go on her shop to check her stock and I will definitely link her Terry shop down below as well I think she does incredible work and I can't wait to get my other ones to show you guys but even this pocket on the front and I don't know I I love 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 this um, this definitely has kind of like a like a worn in traveled rustic kind of Indiana Jonesy feeling to it and look and I I don't know I just I'm in I'm completely in love with this notebook so Anyway, that's all I have to show you guys for today. I'm glad I'm going to be splitting this up. That way the videos won't be so long. But I will film part three for you guys because like I said, I have eight more Traveler's Notebooks on the way. 
and I can't wait to share them with all of you. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely let me know. I will link all of the shops that I mentioned in the comments. So you guys have a wonderful day and take care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.